Good morning, 18th of July. We are heading towards the 16th stage of the Tour de France and yeah, the boys will feel it. They will feel their legs today after yesterday's crazy mountain stage. And once again, they'll be punished from the organizers. 210 kilometers towards Bern, towards the, the garden of Fabian Cancellara and a small but uh, pretty tough last climb in the last kilometers. So for today, I would say, fingers crossed for John Degenkolb. He's really getting back into shape and um, we hope you're doing it. Elpesin inside. What's going on? Everything okay? It seems yes, because fortunately we still have nine riders, everybody who started in the peloton. Nobody hardly crashed, so we are, we are still complete and um, regarding today's stage, we will try to, to have one guy in the breakaway for different uh, reasons. For sure it's good to have exposure. Second, if you have one guy in the breakaway, your teammates don't have to close the gap, don't have to close the hole to prepare the sprint for John. And we can say, hey, we have somebody in the front. If you guys want to win, catch the boys. We are not interested. Second. And uh, for, for the third reason, it's always good to have this option. If you have somebody like maybe Simon Geschke with this pretty difficult and hilly stage, you always have also the possibility to win out of the group, which maybe uh, then arrives and um, can make it until the finish. So I keep my fingers crossed that Giant Alpesin will have a, a good day, have a perfect uh, preparation. The guys are, as mentioned, even warming up on the indoor trainers up front the 210 kilometer stage. Yeah, uh, my job for today, I'm the first car today. And uh, yeah, I will follow the race behind the, the group. We have two cars uh, to support the, the peloton and uh, the bunch. Today is kind of a uh, flat stage, it's a little bit hilly in the middle and also the final is can be the, the last 3k is a little bit hard. I hope we hope uh, uh, John can survive and then we can go to, do a good result with that. Today we have a question uh, regarding the issue peaking, and we can uh, focus on our own team when we have a closer look onto our really nice, good looking French guy Warren Bagil. He was so motivated and he was so hard uh, in, in all his preparations, diet and training and recovery, wind tunnel testing for the improvements in, t in time trial. But it's so hard to, to have a really nice peak of the best shape you can establish once per year that he might have been a bit too early into the best shape possible. Because when we uh, look back, we see he has been already third in the general classification of this year's Tour de Suisse, which is a pretty tough race. So it seems he has been maybe a little bit too early in really good shape. And now his body is already getting a bit away from it and he's not able to keep up with the first group anymore. He's still in the first 20 riders. Uh, I've never been able to be to be there and to finish in, in the, on that level. But he came to the Tour de France to do a job in the top 10, to finish in the top 10. And yeah, we see even if he's pushing hard, his motivation is there. He's a, he's a cool, strong young guy fully focused and motivated, but his body is not able to do it anymore at the moment. So in the end, maybe his peak has been pointed a little bit too early and this is uh, one of the biggest difficulties and the biggest uh, topics you have to, to arrange because a GC rider has one big has one big focus per year and this is the goal to, to focus perfectly on this and to have the best shape in these two, three days or even on a one day race, which is even tougher when you have to, to focus on a one day race. So peaking, 
is something which has become a very big issue and target and it's still with power meters and all these trainers and nutrition guys still a thing which is pretty difficult to to establish and to focus on so everything prepared for today's public viewing it's pretty cool we are getting more and more into this cycle passion our company is really moving really moving ahead with this and this is a location where we have the possibility to uh, have a public viewing every evening after the core time of, of working so I invite all the employees to have a closer look and yeah I try to do kind of co-commentation onto what's happening regarding our team giant Alpacin. We have our own rolling garage, our own service car. Come with me and have a closer look. Pretty cool. Enough space to put 17 bikes into it. Small working station and all the needed tools and gear established inside the van. We also have own washing machine and a dryer so this is a pretty cool car always stocked with all the needed items bottles caps everything is here thanks to my company we can really focus on pushing German cycling pushing worldwide cycling and pushing giant Alpacin